Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. As we know, season two is coming up here in just over a week's time. February 14th is going to be that initial launch date. We'll probably see that sort of usual two update night or separate update night between Vanguard and Warzone like we have for the numerous previous title updates and seasonal updates that we've seen. But all that being said, when it comes to season two, we recently got some brand new leaks specifically regarding Warzone that uh, sort of tease some very interesting gameplay changes. And you already know we're breaking it down here today as we go through it all. If you enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in COD, this is the best place to be. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. But yeah, with season two so close now, it seems like we're consistently getting these small new leaks every single day. And recently we got a handful of uh, information from reality and then also from Tom Henderson and the MW2 Ghost when they were talking on a previous live stream about some of what we can expect with this season two update, perhaps even the season two reloaded update, even though that is obviously a little bit further on into the future. But let's start first with what appears to be the new seasonal event. Now it's not 100% certain if this is going to be sort of a long-term event. Maybe it's gonna be like a two week event, like what we've seen in the past. Obviously we have those occasional menu tab events we just saw it for the holidays with the whole Krampus event. We've seen it before with Halloween. Uh, we saw it with Rebirth way back in the day where you have those certain series of challenges. Each one gives you like a new calling card, an emblem. Ultimately, if you complete all six or eight or however many of them there are, you get a new blueprint. It's nothing too crazy, but they do deem it this new event. Uh, and this one appears to have some pretty big changes when it comes to gameplay. So Reality UK, who is one of these leakers and data miners that's, uh, you know, recently put out a handful of stuff that has ended up coming to fruition, recently put out a series of tweets that read, seasonal event description. The distribution of the toxic Nebula 5 has begun to roll out from armored convoys across the map. Ambush them to gain valuable equipment and weapons. Remember to deploy the new personal decontamination station that rhymes nice uh to briefly filter out toxic gas as needed so this is the first tweet there's a couple of ones that are going to follow up with this that also have some very interesting information but just breaking down this first one this sounds something very similar to like an event with the trainer i honestly even like some of the mobile broadcast stations back from for dance i was talking with espresso about this a little bit and it's like yeah that sort of lines up a little bit basically it seems like we're going to have these convoys that potentially move across the map maybe they're just stationed in like predetermined spots we're gonna have to wait and see but if you go in and break into them you can actually get certain uh, equipment and weapons from these including this personal decontamination station the pds which almost seems like it's a mobile gas mask in a way you deploy it and it filters out toxic gas as needed so i'm curious to see if that's something that only be available uh, around these armored convoys or maybe in the bunkers we'll get to that in just a moment or if you could use this in the zone and if that's the case boy oh boy i i totally and fully expect this to be the new stim glitch i'm just being honest here with it seems like uh every every new update every time we get a big feature like this it's broken in some capacity this is just screaming hey use me in the gas for an infinite amount of time so we're gonna have to wait and see i hope it doesn't end up being broken like that but it does appear that that's gonna be a new sort of in-game quest if you will that you can go in to actually get some special loot and uh and weapons and equipment and whatnot now reality actually follows that tweet up by saying fresh off the assembly line a new fleet of bombers have been delivered to caldera just don't collide with the new redeploy balloons as these obstacles can severely damage your aircraft so this tweet also has a load of information in it new bombers i think a while back there were some leaks uh regarding a new plane coming to caldera and if i'm correct and if i remember correctly this is something that you can actually control yourself. It's not something you necessarily go in and fly like you would the plane, like you don't land on it and, uh, and take off like you would the normal planes. But instead it's something, it's almost like a streak, I guess it could be. Again, we're gonna have to wait and see. I could be remembering this wrong, but uh, a bomber plane instead of the ones that just have like the turrets on it that we're using now, could pose to be pretty interesting hopefully again it's not something that drastically ruins gameplay if you're on the receiving end of it like the planes especially at the start were a little bit od like even now they're still kind of rough to run into at times luckily they've nerfed them in some ways but uh it will have to wait and see if this is a very broken mechanic or if it is played out correctly and then what i'm more interested in redeploy balloons sort of taking something out of fortnite or uh even apex honestly with mobile ways to redeploy instead of just going to a buy station 
could be very interesting i'm not really sure how you'd acquire them if they'd be through chess if they'd be through completing a certain contract maybe going into those armored convoys and getting that out of there again we're gonna have to wait and see but that's another very game altering feature that is being leaked and sort of teased here as always take everything we have here with a pinch of salt none of this is 100 confirmed until we see it in a roadmap or in a blog post whatever the case may be but definitely some interesting stuff there now reality ends off this tweet thread by saying now fully operational a new factory has begun production of the lethal nebula 5 gas for use in various weapons the development of these new weapons has been detected in underground bunkers scattered across caldera so obviously we're getting some lore here we know we have the various bunkers across the map including the replica of the verdansk bunker that's on the side of peak but we also have all those hatches around the map as well which we actually saw butcher getting into in like the whole season one cinematic right so it seems we're finally going to gain access to those and in addition to gaining access to them they're going to be full of these special gas weapons which is very interesting i'm not sure if they'd strictly shoot gas and that's all it would be like you could hurt your enemies with that you could sort of uh mess with campers that way if you know a team is camping inside of a building you could potentially you know wait for them to move out and have that it forces them to put on their gas mask if they have one of those that messes up that gunfight for them obviously there's interesting ways you could sort of use those uh to your advantage sort of giving you the same effects as the gas grenades that we have now again we are going to have to wait to see how it's actually implemented obviously but another thing that could drastically impact gameplay this also is teasing a new factory location on the map i would guess it's probably going to be where we were talking about the other day near arsenal where we have that area that's on the mini map it's updated to be this huge building but in game that building's not there yet so that'd be my guess for that uh but this is all very interesting stuff when it comes to core gameplay changes there is however one other final leak that's i think definitely worth talking about because it's going to be a very drastic change if it ends up happening uh rebirth as we know it has spiked in popularity over the course of the past year or so especially now with caldera not everyone's a huge fan of the map itself with how it plays a lot of players are especially not happy with the fact that they can't get their loadouts very quickly in caldera so everyone's turned into rebirth where the rules are normal the gameplay is fast paced it's nice and easy everyone's liking that but as we've talked about previously there is this rumored new resurgence map this new rebirth map set to come around the anniversary of warzone which is march 10th which would be about smack dab in the middle of season two potentially season two reloaded and according to tom henderson and the mw2 ghost it's possible that this could actually replace rebirth island as the new resurgence map i hope that's not going to be the case i hope they can sort of coexist and we can alternate between the two that i think is the most ideal event but it's very possible that in season two we could actually see the removal of rebirth at the minimum for a little while maybe it comes back in the future and they do alternate or it could even be permanently which would be very unfortunate i know a lot of players would not be very happy with that but all that being said those are the big season two gameplay changing leaks and rumors that we have as of right now I would imagine that in the coming days we get some official information on season two via a roadmap via a blog post you already know if and when any new information surfaces we're going to be covering it right here on the channel so stick it here for that and everything else going on in cod make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on and if you enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated but that's going to wrap things up for today thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out